the generic geriatric cyclist. Episode number 24, A Typical Training Week. Hello, and welcome to today's episode. I'm the man with the plan, the newly revised plan. I'm the generic geriatric cyclist. Under the new regime, I ride every other day. So some weeks I do four rides a week and others I do three. But first, I want to point out my t-shirt. This is for Stop Soldier Suicide. I'm dedicating my cycling miles this month to this organization. Please look them up. They can explain the problem a whole lot better than I can. The first workout of the week is sweet spot training. I do this workout once per week, usually dependent on the weather. It's not raining today, but it's hot and the humidity is so high that I don't want to go outside to breathe the soup that passes for air. If I go out, it's a slow paced survival ride. Inside, I can get some actual work done. I made my own sweet spot training workout because I need every second of the five minute rest intervals and not a second more than the five minute work intervals in my custom program. The canned workout on Zwift with shorter rest and longer work intervals are currently way too hard for me. That's not to say that this workout is anything like easy for me. Some days it feels harder than others. On other days, I can even throw in another five minutes of sweet spot at the end. Today is not one of those strong days. It's typical that every once in a while a ride will go wrong. So I'm throwing in this failed attempt at a ride in the country, starting about 30 miles from my home. The weather forecast for today was mostly cloudy with only a 5% chance of showers. Well, just after mile five, the skies opened for a lot more than a scattered shower. Thanks for the heads up, Mr. Weatherman. Luckily, Susan, my team captain, came to the rescue just in the nick of time. Thanks, Susan. Today is Thursday and I'm doing a meandering route in northeastern Bergen County, New Jersey. There's no destination, just a lot of twists and turns designed to get some miles into my legs. As you can tell from the video footage, it was a hazy, humid day. The air quality was horrendous. I tried to do the ride without breathing, but that didn't last too long. At a not too impressive 30 miles, this is the longest ride that I've been capable of doing so far this season. The plan is to increase the mileage gradually until 50 miles feels relatively easy or at least doable. But then, one ride at a time, I have a long way to go. But now, finally, I've arrived at my destination. I took my own advice about hydration. I drank both water bottles and stopped twice and had a bottle of Poland Spring each time. For the sake of variety, I'm doing today's ride on the North County Rail Trail across the river in Westchester. I haven't been on this trail in quite a while, but way back in the late 80s when I first started cycling, I did it often. My job was directly on the trail, so I'd walk out of the job, get on my bike, and hit the paved trail. Oh, the memories. The trail has three different names along the way, but it starts in Van Cortlandt Park in the Bronx and travels a continuous 43.7 miles north to Brewster, New York. I parked in a lot in Eastview next to the Sawmill River Parkway and rode north. The plan was 25 miles, so I turned around at 12 and a half. Today's ride is one of my standards. It starts at my doorstep and mostly follows Route 9W to Bear Mountain. I make a short visit to Iona Island, and then I just retrace my steps homeward. Since it's a weekend day, I'll see plenty of cyclists making their pilgrimage from New York City.
The first few miles of today's route are along the Hudson River, and they ready the legs for the ups and downs that we'll encounter along Route 9W. The river is still pretty wide at this point, but it narrows a bit in a few miles. About nine miles in, being a big chicken, I'm taking this newly paved path that avoids a nine-tenths of a mile climb along Dunderberg Mountain. I'm here! These are the freight line tracks on Iona Island that go along the west shore of the Hudson from New York City to Albany and beyond. So now, after a break for a drink and a snack, it's time to follow the road home. I think I'll try and catch this guy. So that's it for now. So long, and thanks for watching. Hope to see you again very soon.